Hello and welcome to this very quick and informative session on testng.xml. I'm Raghav and today we are going to learn what is a testng.xml file and then we will go very basic step by step and practically create a testng.xml file to run our testng test cases. So let's get started and what is a testng.xml file? So if you are using testng as a testing framework in your project, then testng.xml file is a configuration file in testng and you can use this file to set some execution settings like what test classes and packages you want to include in your runs what do you want to exclude you can set some dependencies priorities and also set the parallel mode and so on so basically we can say testng.xml file is used to control the execution of test ng tests so in if you are asked this question in an interview or anywhere then that what is a testng.xml file so basically it is a file that is used to control execution of testng tests and how does it control it can control by providing what packages uh, classes or tests can be included what should be excluded we can set dependencies and all these things so we can set all the configuration and we will see how to do that so let us look at a very quick practical example so let me go to my eclipse here I will go to my Eclipse and here let me take any sample testng class. So this is a testng demo that we have created in our earlier testng session and just in case you have not watched it I will recommend that you go to my channel automation step by step and watch this testng session where we have learned how to create this and also the prerequisite here will be for this session is you should have testng plugin in your eclipse already added and you should also have added the testng libraries so if i go to my pom.xml you can see testng libraries are, are already added here and you can also add it as jar files and all this we have learned in the earlier session of this testng so you can watch this and here i am directly going to this earlier class that i created so here we have created a very simple class where we have provided some method and so this is a google search function which is going to google.com and then enters automation step by step in the search box and clicks on the enter key and this i have given an annotation for add test that is a testng annotation now what i have to do is once you have your testng class so you can also write your own class like this just give your testng annotations and then what you have to do is here in your class do a right click and then you will find an option for testng here okay so let me show you again right click you will find testng option and here you will find option convert to testng okay just click here you will get this window and just in case you are not getting this option convert to testng then uh, just wait for some time I will tell you what to do uh, so you can also check you are using the latest testng and also the testng plugin in Eclipse uh, otherwise if you are still not getting it I will tell you what to do but for now if you are getting this window you can see this is already checked generate testng.xml this should be checked the location is in your project whatever is your project and if you want you can change this as well suite name and test name you can give as per your wish so i can say this is suite one i can say this is test one you can give any name here okay and here you are also getting the preview of your xml file how it will be created or how it will look like now here you see class selection you can set it to packages so if you set it to packages you can see the change here it is changing to packages so if you want to include everything inside a packages you can select a package otherwise if you just want to select classes I will go with classes and here you can see this is the parallel mode so just in case if you want to run your tests in parallel you can select this otherwise you can leave it as it is so if I select parallel and I say uh, tests or I say classes so you can see it has added this option parallel classes I will show you this later on but for now let me keep it as none and then thread count is again if you are setting it as, as parallel then you will need to set the thread count how many threads you want to run in parallel but for now let it keep it as it is and here uh, suit methods you can just uh, leave it as it is and say finish so you can see a testng.xml file will be created here 
and you can go here and you can see this is your testng.xml file now for people who are not getting the option to directly create or convert your class to testng you can always go to your project and do a right click new and go to file and then give the name testng.xml and then create a file manually and what you will have to do is uh, we do not require all this information so basically we need it starts from a suite and ends with a suite tag I will also delete this unnecessary information or comments from here so this is our very simple testng.xml file it starts with suite tag ends with a suite tag then test here is the end test tag and then because we have selected classes you can say classes and end classes and here you can give all your classes okay so this is a test now let us see if I like in the earlier session I can go to my class here and I can do a right click and I can say run as testng test so this will run here as well but now I can go to my testng.xml file and do a right click here and now I can say I will go to run as and here you will get the option run as testng suite let me do it again right click run as testng suite so this option you will only get in your testng.xml file and if you click here it will start your classes whatever you have given here or whatever tests are available in that class so you see it goes to chrome goes to google uh, enters automation step by step and comes out and this is the summary for testng and of course if you refresh your project i will just go and refresh it you can also press f5 you will find this test output folder and inside this you will get this index.html so here let me just show you you will get here index.html and if you open it with any browser I will open with my Chrome browser which is a default browser you can see this here so here you can see all the details and if I go to past methods it is showing us this Google search has passed and of course if you go to this emailable report.html and let me open this as well and here you can see this is the detail so you can see the class testng demo and the method name is google search and then the start time and the total time taken and the, all the details are here now until now we have not done anything uh, different than what we were doing earlier but let us say you have a lot of test cases so as of now we do not have a lot of test cases let, let's just say you have a lot of classes and a lot of test cases then it will be very useful to run with your testng.xml so for example let me just copy this class testng demo and paste it again so I will here copy this uh, yes here is copy and I will paste it again and I will name this as testng demo2 I will say ok so it is here now similarly if you have multiple classes so you can just go here and keep on adding the class names that you want to include so I want to include this class as well I will say control A to select everything and press control I on my keyboard to format the identification if you are on Mac you can say command A and command I okay and now I am saying run class test ng demo and test ng demo 2 so now it will run both of these but here it will run it as uh, in sequence if you want to run it in parallel then you can add the parallel uh, option here so to do that what I will do is I will again do a right click and I will say convert to test ng and here I will say suit one test one and here I will say classes and thread count it is already taking five you can increase as well based on your system limits and I will say finish and I will say override the existing one so you can see the new test ng.xml file and here it is running these two classes so let me also add the other class here I will add test ng demo 2 also here I dent it so here we are running these two and then we are also running it in parallel okay so both of our test cases should run in parallel and to make things easier I will update the name of 
the method in class 2 to Google search 2 so that you can see this in the result as well. Now I will go back to my testng.xml. I will say right click and run as testng suite and just see it will run both the test parallel. So here is one test getting executed and you can also see the other test is also getting executed here. So both of them are getting executed and both of them are done. Maybe it was very fast. Let me try to do it again. Uh, let me try to show it to you show it to you again. I will say run as testng suite. So this is first browser, this was second browser and you can see both the browsers are open and it was very fast. I we can see this in the report. So I will just go and refresh the browser for reports and you can see Google search and Google search 2 both of them get got executed and you can see the time as well for both of them okay and now other thing that, that you can do is for example for some particular class you have multiple test methods or test cases so for example in our class 2 I will just copy this particular test and paste it again so that we have some multiple tests and I will say this is as 3 Google search 3 okay and now just in case you want to uh, include or exclude some particular methods what you can say is inside the class you can have the tag method so if you write METHOD and press control space bar it will auto complete and then here you can say test or yeah you can say include and press control space bar okay so I think it will need a doc type so let me just do this thing I will right click again and uh, here I will right click again and say testng convert to testng and here I will say classes suite 1 test 1 and finish and overwrite it and here I will add both the classes demo 1 and demo 2 so demo and demo 2 both the classes and then inside this particular class so what I have to do is here I have to end the tag so for class 2 inside class 2 tag I will say methods you can also say method I think and then inside that I will say include and name so now I am getting all this auto completed and the name here I want to include in is Google search 3 so only this test I want to include I will just type it here and save and also I am running in parallel so I will run this run as testng suite so let us just see it is running and you can see both the browsers are opening in parallel so both the tests are running in parallel and this is done if I go to the reports and now refresh it you can see we now just have Google search and Google search 3 Google search 2 is not executed because we did not include it and also you can see suite name is suite 1 as we gave in our testng.xml and then this is pass and test 1 is pass so here you can do like this and also you can use exclude similarly so if you want if you say exclude it will run all the tests in that class except that test and if you say include it will run only the included test and not any other test so this is how very simply you can create testng.xml and run your test I hope this session was very useful for you if you like the session please hit the like button and share it with others and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon so that you can keep receiving notifications from this channel. I will meet you in the next episode. Thank you for watching.